Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we've got another meltdown episode for you. This one is a slight departure from what you may be expecting. Today we're going to be trying to kill a suppressor. Oh, why would you do that? Well, we've got an RMS2 suppressor and this has got some pretty gnarly construction about it, okay? I do have a little cheat sheet here. I'm gonna go off just so I make sure I get the specs right. It is a hybrid construction between um, 718 Inconel and 321 stainless. It's got a Inconel blast chamber, essentially, um, and then th uh, 321 stainless construction. It's their Omega baffle system. Uh, it uses a Chemo QD mount, all right? We've got a hammer forged of Voodoo barrels barrel. It's a 16 inch hammer forged barrel. And uh, we're going to be running a KG made machine gun lower here. And we're going to see what it takes to kill the suppressor. Um, this is not something that we've really ever done. Uh, I know that when we did the CMMG 22 meltdown, uh, we did run a 22 caliber suppressor on that particular gun. And uh, you know, it didn't really offer a heck of a lot of heat to really harm that can in any type of way. Um, but you know, we're definitely generating more pressure, more heat with 5.56. Let's see what the suppressor can take and uh, let's see if we can kill it. Here we go. All right, hold on to your butts. Boys, I think she's hot. Oh, yeah. Whoa, something went. All right. All right, guys. Well, we had a little bit of rain move in on us, but you know what? We're not made out of sugar. We're not going to melt. But that gas tube melted. I'm going to tell you that much. This thing went through 330 rounds. And we saw that that suppressor got really, really, really hot. All right. Uh, went through 11 magazines, which gave us three, 330 rounds. And, uh, you know, another thing that I noticed too, compared to other meltdowns that we've done, is man, that heat really worked its way back into the action a lot more too, and into the bolt. It just seems like maybe there's a little bit more gas getting in there or whatever, but we saw that that gas tube got incredibly hot. The suppressor itself got insanely hot. We actually had bits of gas is escaping from around the mount if you look in the slow-mo and it's just crazy the amount of heat that this suppressor just took uh, now obviously it's still hot you can see it steaming in the rain there i mean it's just instantly converting that uh that rain to steam as soon as it hits the uh, barrel well the barrel too and the suppressor so we can't exactly pull it off but i don't really see any reason why the cam won't keep going it was really the gun that stopped and not the suppressor and um uh, the thing is, guys, 330 rounds, that's a lot more ammunition than anybody would ever put through suppressor full auto. And I think what we're really trying to see here on this Hopi is, you know, in semi-auto fire, you could probably shoot this thing almost indefinitely and not have a single issue with longevity. And uh, that's a really cool result. Now, um, one thing I do want to mention about this particular suppressor and compared to some of the meltdowns that we've done in the past, is that in order to really like know what this test means in terms of the meltdowns, we're gonna need to melt down more suppressors. 
so that we get a body of data going on to really know exactly what we're dealing with. We have melted down a ton of different AR uppers and, and we've melted down a ton of different platforms. But this is the first time we've ever attempted to really kill a suppressor. So 330 rounds, I think, is pretty dang impressive. You saw how hot it got, but the devil's always in the details and the devil's always in the data. So what we will do is probably go to the drawing board. And if you guys like this concept, maybe we'll melt down some more suppressors. Um, you know, we'll see. So just let me know if you think this is a really cool thing to watch. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I know this was kind of a short meltdown. We do have more meltdown videos on the way, more interesting AR uppers, as well as a nine millimeter meltdown coming very soon. It's not a Glock, just a hint there. Okay, so we are doing, let's just say uh, AR variant and nine millimeter that we're gonna be running until it dies. So stay tuned for that. Many more videos on the way. Uh, special thanks to all of our Patreon supporters, as well as all the folks that purchase man cans to help support the channel. You guys are awesome. If you love this content, consider uh, you know, purchasing a man can or donating a few bucks on Patreon to help support our efforts. Um, I'm getting a little wet, but you know what? I'm not crying about it. Uh, it's helping cool down the suppressor. So guys, thanks very much for watching today's Meltdown. We'll see you next time. Many more videos on the way. I bet you won't lick that. Oh yeah, it's still, it's still hot. All right.